My eight-year-old had to put together a rainforest biome for his second grade class at the hybrid homeschool, so I thought I would share with you guys step-by-step -step how he put together this really fun project. Before we began this project, we gathered up all of our supplies, which included a shoebox and then a bunch of different things that I found at the Dollar Tree and at Michael's. So I have it all piled here on the table and we went through and he helped me pick out everything that we might need. We did have some glue sticks and some other things on hand at home, but almost everything we got at the Dollar Tree. So he designed this basically all on his own. I did have to help him though because of the hot glue that we used. So you'll see here, this was the basically the one big bit of advice that I had for him was to reinforce that flap on the bottom because he wanted to keep that part open for the base of the rainforest. And so we just used some of these wider popsicle sticks that we already had on hand, but you can get those at the Dollar Tree. Then he just went ahead and designed it however he wanted it. And I realized after the fact that we probably should have painted the shoebox before we got started, but he ended up putting so many different things inside there that it didn't matter in the end. But you can always paint the, the box to make it match whatever biome that you are doing. And so then we just kind of glued everything down wherever it needed to go. Next he decided we needed to work on the waterfall which was going to fall down the back of the box towards the front which was all his idea. It was really neat. We ended up kind of tweaking it as we went along because we had a hard time making it work and he wanted to look a little bit different. So you can see that process here. We glued down each of the stones one at a time. We got these at the Dollar Tree and he made sure to kind of alternate the different colors to give the water some depth and variety of color. Once that first layer was completed, he decided that he wanted to add a second layer on top of it. I think just to kind of make it look deeper, add more texture, so we went ahead and did that next. After adding some of the texture, he also wanted to add in all of the ground, all of the foliage, and then he added in some rapids, basically using those white stones and a bunch of hot glue just to kind of make it look like what it would look like at the bottom of a waterfall. He also put stones all around the edge of that river, and then he added on all of the creatures. He put these big bugs all around the edge, there's a snake and a lizard and all different kinds of animals that you would find in the rainforest. Lots of spiders and a hanging monkey and a tree frog. And I love that part right there with the spider web. That was all his idea. He took the bag that the glass beads came in and cut it into a triangle. And then I helped him hot glue it to the box. And then he kind of put that little spider right on top of it. It was such a neat idea. I love how he put this all together.
He also designed the top so that it would look like the birds are flying over the scene. I hope this video was helpful to you. Like I said, you can find almost everything at the Dollar Tree or at a local craft store, and it only took us a couple of hours to put this project together. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and have a great day.